Wayne Stafford is a pageant producer with a magazine and talk show dedicated to the industry. Every talent he works with who goes on to thrive and stand the test of time is a success he celebrates as if they were family. Today is a very special day for me. Over and above the fact of celebrating 27 years in the beauty pageant fashion industry, I decided that with a celebration of PPMC's Queen Talk with Wayne Stafford to shoot for the cover for former Miss South Africans that have really walked a journey with me for the last 27 years. Miss South Africans from 97 up until 2010. Karishni Naik has become a game changer in healthcare. Sonia Rasiti Ashri in education. Tanzi Kutsia remains a top model. And Bokang Monjane Chabalala is every bit the entrepreneur. Since my reign, life's been on a journey. Um, I must say I'm a very proud mommy of three beautiful children. I'm an educator, I'm facilitating children, which has always been a passion of mine. I'd always believed that education was the cornerstone of a winning nation, and I'm head of my department, which I absolutely love. But yeah, life's been a roller coaster. I must say there's been ins and outs of many different kinds of careers that I've been involved in, but education's my heart. A popular television anchor, it's what Karishni has done away from lights and cameras that's most impressive. I was a practicing pharmacist when I won Miss South Africa. I was also studying my master's towards tuberculosis research in South Africa. And since becoming Miss South Africa, I managed to establish nine tuberculosis clinics in South Africa, so one in each of our provinces, two community hospitals, which are in very remote areas. And these were requests of Tata Nelson Mandela. I was very, very fortunate and privileged to collaborate with Tata Madiba for 10 years on healthcare initiatives. He was actually the patron of my initiatives, for which I am forever grateful, because I learned so many amazing lessons from him. Tansi Kutsia's enduring career as a top model is setting a proud benchmark for longevity in the industry, while she's also loving motherhood. Since Miss South Africa, um, I've become a mom. Um, I've got a miracle little baby girl. She just turned four this week, so that's a milestone in its own. And then I'm blessed to still be able to model. I'm also a content creator and an influencer. And I've been judging various beauty competitions. Since marrying soccer star Simpiwe Chabalala, Bokang Monjane Chabalala and her husband have become each other's ideal business partner. What am I currently working on? I've got a company called SB Powerhouse. It's owned by me and my husband. And we have the SB Kids division. So that is a kiddies clothing range and an African doll. And the whole idea behind it is I wanted an African boy or girl to be able to walk in a store and see something that looks like them. I wanted them to be able to find something that they can identify with, but also something that is a definition of greatness, something that is a definition of beauty. And aside from the Kitty's clothing range, I'm the new director of Mrs. Universe Africa and the new director of Miss Intercontinental. Wayne's cover shoot was a chance to make the most of one of Joburg's most ingenious outdoor photography studios. The photo factory venue, the elements and the architecture is just so fresh and new and different. So I think if you look at the overall picture with the theme being ocean, the beautiful skyline, the beach sand, this is an ideal location, especially if you go to throw in all the incredible designs that our top SA fashion designers have done for the Xmas South Africans. Their brief was really to create garments that are islandy, beachy looking, but with the touch of glam. For Gerrit Pinar, Sonia still carries herself with such a natural grace that dressing her is effortless. With Sonia's dress, I used a very nice brocade. It's got the colors of the ocean and it's got a different twist on a ball gown. Not so poofy, yeah, more classical, but still with a train, with a slit. He is absolutely unbelievable. The theme was the ocean and I must have felt exactly like that in this dress. Princessy, it's liquid. I feel, I feel fantastic wearing his clothing. He's fabulous. 
Jose de Kanya got to mix daring and sheer class, knowing that Karishni walks that fine line like she was born to do it. I am delighted to be dressed by Jose de Kanya, and I believe that he is a creative genius. And of course, he went with different shades of blue, pearls, diamante, and I think the combination works extremely well. And I am honestly blessed to be dressed by him. It's quite important for me when you design a dress and uh, the client that's wearing it, it's always important that they must be confident in the dress and they must feel relaxed in the dress. They must look comfortable. And what I've brought into at Krishni's dress is elegance, sexiness, and then also bringing the theme of the ocean into the dress. Being a creative entrepreneur and so many women in one makes Bokang a thrill to design for. The dress that I'm wearing today was made by an amazing designer called Anel Buerta. And the only thing I asked her for is do something I'm going to feel comfortable in. I'm going to feel like a queen in, and I mean, I'm a new mother, so I definitely comfort is very big at this moment. I picked a soft blue, transparent, iridescent gown for Bukang that would suit her figure beautifully. It's got lovely texture, lots of crystals for some sparkle. The back is very, very pretty. It's also got a removable skirt, which gives her two different looks that she can play with. For Gerrit, creating a new number for Tansy feels like being a designer in the first flush of success. It's a blast. Tansy's dress kind of like tried to get that whole frothy, wavy kind of a vibe encapsulated in a dress. And also I know well, so it's playful, it's fun, it's a bit sexy and femme, you know, very much according to her personality. I love mine. Um, I just feel like a, a princess or a queen, shall we say. I, I feel so beautiful. I don't know. I don't want to take it off. <laughs> this was an unusual portrait for any photographer. Subjects who each capture and reflect a time and place of their own in the life of South Africa. The shoot today was absolutely amazing. I must say it's so wonderful for us to be able to get back together as a Miss SA family and to be able to catch up. We don't often get to do that. We've been in this sisterhood, the Miss South Africa sisterhood, for so long and it's been ages since we've come together. So it's been beautiful and this setting has just been the best ambiance and environment anybody could wish for. It's just so beautiful to see where we are now, years after our reign. But I think most importantly, spending the day with Wayne Stafford. I started the journey of Miss South Africa with him, and even 12 years later, we're still very good friends. And he's doing such an amazing job in the pageantry industry, and I'm so proud of him. Wow, 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 wow. What an incredible day. I mean, everything just worked out beautifully. The ladies looked magnificent. Photography on point, the venue fantastic, food great, company awesome. So I think it's, it ends to a perfect first birthday for Queen Talk. These women have stood the test of time by evolving, adapting, growing, and if anything, they're even more beautiful for it. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.